Today's first case is a female in her 80s with esophageal achalasia. The patient had a history of dysphagia for 50 years. 20 years ago, the patient underwent balloon dilatation. The endoscopic view shows dilated esophagus and the rosette sign at the G-junction. The manometry shows type 2 according to Chicago classification. The barium swallow shows delayed emptying of contrast. Poem will be performed by Professor Haruhiro Inoue. So this is a case. Uh, <laughs> I would like first to introduce the uh, commentators. So Dr. Philip Chu from uh, Hong Kong and the Toyo Naga Sensei from uh, Kobe. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Minami Sensei, can you hear us? Yes, that's very ah, okay. clearly. Thank okay, you. Good great, morning. great, great. So our uh, and now we are 20, uh, 23 centimeters from the incisor. And then uh, you can see this is the uh, aortic arch. And then this is uh, left main bronx. So that means uh, this is a bifurcation of the middle of the esophagus. Uh, there is some abnormal contractions. But here we can see uh, some uh, contraction. Um, manometry demonstrated a type one, type two acarasia. So this is abnormal contraction with no peristalsis, but uh, very soft, very soft and easy, easy to pass through it. Um, and then so several abnormal contraction, not not a peristaltic movement. So oh, and then so we gradually advance endoscope toward the junction. Um, this is a junction. Junction is uh, located at 42 or 3 centimeter. Uh, this, this may be, this may be um, a lower esophageal sphincter. Anyway, so back up, and then uh, we will place uh, the uh, mucosa incision here. This is uh, 28 centimeter from uh, uh, patient teeth. You can see abnormal contraction here. So we will dissect, okay, in a submucosal layer. Now I'm inserting the uh, injection needle. Uh, we will uh, place the uh, myotomy at the five o'clock direction. Needle up, okay, so inject. One. So we inject a saline with a blue dye. Three. And then uh, please injection Four. Uh, 10. Five, six. Now you can confirm the very nice lifting of the mucosa Nine. surface. Ten. Okay, thank you. And the, uh, please pass me a TTJ. TTJ is a triangle tip knife with a water jet. Now I'm inserting the TTJ. So, Professor Inoue, yeah, yeah, may yeah. I ask you, um, would you decide um, the proximal okay. mucosal entrance to be above the abnormal contraction or by a routine just like uh, 10 centimeters above? The yeah, yeah. Junction? So, uh, this patient um, uh, type type 2 acarasia, so uh, more, most important is the dissection of the lower esophageal sphincter. Yes. Yes. So, proximal part dissection is a discussion. Uh, actually, uh, endoscopically, uh, in the middle part of the esophagus, there leads, there are some abnormal contractions. Then uh, I, I think it's better in this case uh, uh, put the uh, uh, little bit longer myotomy. Yes. Type three acarasia. Uh, type three acarasia means uh, um, the patient who has a uh, lots of uh, uh, abnormal contractions of the esophageal body. Uh, should be placed uh, longer myotomy. Okay. Anyway, sensei. Yes. Uh, what settings are you using on your knife? Ah, okay. So please. Uh, <laughs> uh, through 30, 30. I don't know exactly. This is a new machine from Rimpas. Yes, okay, the 300. 300. Yes. So, uh, as a splay coagulation, we use a 50-watt Effect 3 Olympus uh, ESG 300. So, um, I, I found when we use uh, this device, um, uh, we uh, keep the uh, setup a little bit uh, higher. So, 50-watt uh, Effect 3. Effect is most important. Okay. 
so anyway, uh, okay. Now I use a splay coagulation, and then uh, hopefully we can get in. Uh, okay. Now using a, a water injection, we get in a submucosal space. So please note uh, the um, attachment of the endoscope. Uh, we use a space adjuster. That is a very soft, so um, very soft food. So it's a shape uh, will change accordingly to the uh, uh, target shape. Adjust, adjusting to the target shape. Okay, so keep cutting. And then first step is to find, uh, we can see uh, now um, surface of the muscle. I'm rotating the ni 90 degree, but anyway, we can see a uh, surface muscle, a uh, circular muscle here, and then uh, we can dissect like this, so injection. Okay, sorry, uh, okay, injection, keep injecting. Open a little bit, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. So like this, uh, we can see the border, uh, close, close. Okay, need out. Okay, so this is a border of the surface of the muscle and the uh, submucosal fibers. Submucosal fibers are stained blue. And the advanced endoscope like this. The point is uh, uh, export the surface of the muscle. So this uh, dissection plane is a little bit deeper than the ESD. Much deeper than the ESD. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch muscle in the ESD. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, in the poem procedure, later we will cut the muscle. Oh, that's so uh, we have to no uh, uh, a little bit approach. A, uh, we will approach a little bit deeper. Yes. The point is uh, in, the, in the poem procedure, Preserving the uh, uh, mucosa layer, this is a surface mucosa, is uh, now the uh, top of the image, top half of the image. This is the entrance, once again. So uh, preserving the mucosa is a point of the procedure. So always uh, we will dissect very close to muscle layer. So anyway, okay, Sensei. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so what's your uh, advice uh, when you're creating the tunnel, to keep straight. Ah, keep straight. So uh, myself always uh, check the lining of the muscle. So what I mean is uh, like this. So for example, okay, need out, and then coagulate the surface. Then we can recognize the uh, um, circular muscle fiber like this. Then it's a uh, it, it looks uh, going uh, uh, para lateral, parallel, parallel. Yes. Then we will approach tangentially to this uh, muscle lining. Muscle is a lining like this, like this. Then we will approach this way. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so I, I uh, sometimes say it's uh, like a zebra line when we are crossing the road, so we just follow the zebra line. Ah, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> right, that's right. Injection, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, need up. So this is, again, this is a perforating vein uh, that is uh, located at the 6 o'clock direction. Okay, then we create the submucosal tunnel. Um, perforating artery in the esophagus, we can uh, straightly uh, coagulate. So because the uh, blood flow in the esophagus is not so strong, so we can coagulate. If there is a bleeding, a minor bleeding like this, we can coagulate all vessels directly. So most of the case um, in the esophagus, bleeding stopped. Just apply the splay coagulation like this. Okay, then go straight. This is another perforating artery in the esophagus. We are keeping the uh, a correct <laughs> direction. Okay, injection. So anyway, Sensei, for <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you're ab approaching now the GE Junction, I think. Um, yeah. Do you have, same any tips for dissection of the GE Junction safely? Um, because it, it becomes uh, more tight and, and difficult, I think. Thank you very much. Good question. So uh, now we are approaching uh, GE Junction, so we can, s uh, we can see um, lumen becomes smaller. Then we can realize we are close to junction, and actually our uh, insertion depth of the scope is uh, more than 40 centimeters. So beforehand we measured junction is uh, located at uh, 42, so injection. N now we can see uh, holds a junction from uh, in a submicosal space. It's a narrow. Okay. Then uh, this is uh, some uh, perforating vein. So the still esophagus, we can uh, coagulate directly. Uh, there is uh, some. I'm not sure we can coagulate. So these uh, vessels are very close to the junction. OK. So, 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 so. Now we are approaching the lower esophageal sphincter. So um, when we approach uh, to the um, uh, esophagogastric junction, um, we have to repeat submucosal injection. So because mucosal layer coming close to the uh, muscle layer. So in this case, it uh, looks OK. Injection, please. And the most reliable technique to identify the uh, submucosal endoscopy reach to the stomach is a double scope. Uh, of course, uh, uh, after, after this procedure, we will perform a double scope. Double scope means a baby scope. Uh, uh, we place it in the stomach and the uh, uh, Okay, so injection, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, we can dissect this uh, fibers. Actually, when you use a harder cap, that such vessel can be ruptured by yeah. the tension. So, so space adjuster works well. So to to preserve the such vessels. Yes. So at this moment. Uh, uh, submucosal space promptly becomes wide, mm. promptly becomes wide. So yeah. I think we are in the uh, gastric side. Mm. Uh, actually, insertion depth of the scope is uh, 34 centimeter, and uh, we can recognize this is a spindle vein. Mm. Um, in this case, uh, in this case, uh, spindle vein is a tiny vessel, but you can see a round shape, mm. um, spindle shape veins. Uh, here, hopefully. So this is the uh, very good anatomical indicator of the uh, gastric uh, funders. Okay, injection, please. Okay, so uh, at this moment, so we will perform a double scope. Now the uh, uh, baby scope is in the stomach. Then the mother scope, uh, we will again insert into the uh, submucosal tunnel. Okay, so our shirt, yes, this is a mucosotomy. Now we are inserting the scope to the um, end of the submucosal tunnel. Okay, so some abnormal contractions here. Okay, a little bit tight. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, we can see. Uh, can you see a Bohr's endoscopy image? Yes. yes ah, okay, great. <laughs> now we can see. Uh, uh, fro yes, yes, we leached to the uh, distal end of the stomach, uh, submucosal tunnel. And then hopefully you can see uh, in a baby scope, you can see the tip of the endoscope. Can you? Uh. Can yes, you Professor Inoue, so yeah. we can see uh, illumination in uh, lesser curvature side. Yeah, yeah. And uh, how about uh, length of the gastric side? 
Uh, now, now uh, just on the uh, just on the uh, uh, GJ. So uh, yes, so uh, we two three centimeter more. Yeah, 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 two centimeter more. And then uh, uh, Shibak Sensei, said, please uh, 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 explain the how we control the uh, gas, how 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 long we can place the uh, gas microtomy to the audience. Shibak Sensei, Thank please. You. Thank you. Uh, I will explain. So, according to uh, retrospective study of Come poem like in Japan, uh, risk factor of erosive esophagitis okay. over great sea okay. is yeah. uh, uh, four centimeter over four centimeter gastric side myotomy and uh, uh, in a complete dissection of oblique muscles. So. Uh, Professor Inoue select uh, five alcock myotomy and preserving uh, oblique okay, muscles and uh, keep the uh, gastric muscle within uh, two centimeters. Okay. Is it right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Injection, please. So this is the uh, 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 first penetrating artery. So appears in front of us. So, and the, uh, we, we also recognize very well the spindle veins. Uh, these are tiny, tiny spots are uh, spindle veins. So first we will dissect the uh, right hand side of the penetrating vessels. Okay, then uh, we also dissect the uh, left hand side injection, please. Okay, thank you. So left hand side, we can uh, hopefully we can identify the edge of the callus ring muscle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little bit difficult, but maybe this yeah, is the edge. edge yeah. So two two of the two of the masters agreed. <laughs> Three of us agreed uh, this is the uh, edge of the callus ring muscle. Callus ring muscle is always uh, located just behind the perforating artery, so need up. Okay, ah, need up. Okay, like this, a big tree, big vessel tree on the left hand side. So on the behind, it, it looks uh, a little bit oblique compared to the uh, circular muscle. Circular, so I, I, I need up, okay. So I would like to demonstrate uh, these vessels. Uh, this, uh, so hmm. hopefully you can see. Um, pretty, yeah, need out. Okay. So this is a circular muscle. This one. This one is a circular muscle. And then so most inner, most inner longitudinally uh, running muscle. This is the edge of the uh, callus ring. And then behind this is a callus ring muscle. So point is a callus ring muscle is anatomically located at the very superficial, most inner, most inner uh, um, muscle layer. So this one is the edge of the callus ring. Is that right? Okay. So uh, we will uh, try to freeze up this uh, uh, oblique muscle then uh, we will shift the uh, myotomy direction toward the light side. After passing, passing over this uh, perforating artery, we will change the uh, cutting my myotomy direction toward the right hand side. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. You're so, with me now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. thank you. Uh, so now uh, we have already dissected uh, some muscle layer. So like this, so back up, and uh, this is a mucosotomy, and then uh, get in a submucosal space. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, we are in the submucosal space like this, and then we are starting the myotomy from here. So, so both side, so it's after body, body's muscle layer was uh, very thick. And then uh, uh, behind of the dissection of the circular muscle, you can see a longitudinal muscle like this. So anyway, we are starting myotomy from a 32 centimeter. And then so we have already dissected like this. 
So this is a component of a longitudinal mass layer, but the uh, cutting edge is open. Cut, cut, cut end is open like this, so longitudinal muscle layer looks um, uh, oblique muscle. Anyway, some are bleeding. So uh, bleeding from the uh, esophagus, it's uh, even in a submucosal layer or muscle layer, we can uh, mostly coagulate, just a splay. So gastric side, it's better to use a coagulation forceps. Anyway. Okay, coagulated, and then so go straight. So uh, again, you can recognize the longitudinal muscle fibers, and then go straight, going straight, going straight. So, um, okay, okay, uh, keep cutting, keep cutting. Then finally, uh, we will, uh, we are, Approaching to, uh, this is the uh, perforating vein, perforating vessels at the distal end of the uh, uh, submucosal tunnel. So this uh, minor bleeding should be coagulated. This is a perforating uh, artery and vein. And then, so uh, once I showed you, uh, so left hand side, we confirm the uh, uh, edge of the uh, color string. So we are dissecting toward the uh, light side. Anyway, so this uh, gastric side vessel or gastric side bleeding, it's better to coagulate uh, with the uh, uh, grasping forceps. Okay, open please. Rotator, yes, okay, open, close. Okay, and the soft coagulation, is it okay? Okay, thank you, open it. Okay, close. So this is, this one is a longitudinal muscle layer, this one. And this is the edge of our circular muscle. Then, so this part can be dissected. So now, uh, left hand side, very close to a perforating artery. Again, we, we are using the uh, splay coagulation and then dissect the circular muscle. Okay, once again. So in this area is the most important. Some are circular muscle component remaining, so we will splay energy on it and the dissect the fibers. So once again, this is, this is, this is a longitudinal muscle. And then, so this is an intramuscular space, this one. And then, so we will dissect like this. The behind, we can recognize the, uh, maybe a second perforating artery. This one is the end point of the myotomy. Okay, that is uh, uh, Tanaka Sensei, Tanaka Shinwa Sensei, Toyonaga Sensei's cardio, his uh, theory. So it's a very good indicator. Uh, yes, perforating artery is a very good indicator. In a gastric side, sometimes uh, vessel runs uh, parallel, so not a big bite, small bite, and then dissect fibers like this. Okay, so we are almost done, I think. So, anyway, Sensei. Yes. So, if uh, we do Injection. not have access to uh, double scope. Uh huh. Uh, do you think the two penetrating vessels can be used uh, as a marker for the end of the uh, tunnel? Uh, definitely, yes. So two penetrating, uh, two penetrating artery in the gastric side, it's a very good indicator. And also, once I mentioned the spindle vein, that is a good indicator of the gastric cardia. And the, uh, another technique is uh, maybe Minami-sensei uh, will uh, talk to you. Minami-sensei. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, we are in our institution. It is it is a, uh, too much luxury to get to uh, have a two sets of monitor and endoscopy stuff. So um, we are using this IC endocyanin green injection as the tattooing technique. Uh, before the before making a tunnel, we uh, inject the very okay. small Perfect. amount of ICG in, at the cardia, and then. 
so uh, this is a, during the Mayato, during the tunneling process, we can re uh, recognizing the, the uh, I, the ICG green color make, uh, helps us to uh, locate the uh, LES. That is our technique. Uh, but, but enough. Uh, we have already passed the... Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much. And then anyway, so you can recognize that this is a longitudinal muscle fiber needle up. And they lower esophageal sphincter. Even in a achalasia patient, muscle layer is very thin. So uh, we have to cut a thin muscle layer. That, because lower esophageal sphincter muscle is thin, not thick. So we have already cut thin muscle toward the uh, gastric side. Um, yes. OK. So um, this is the distal end. Maybe uh, uh, junction is at free open. So now I'm inserting the endo. So junction is a free open like this. So We're this is a closure yeah. of the mucosotomy site. So uh, we have already done the 12 centimeter from our 30, 32 centimeter to 44 centimeter myotomy, 12. And then so we have already confirmed the uh, hemostasis of the submucosal space. Then uh, we will close a mucosal defect. And I need a, uh, yes, mount, please. OK, rotate. And then uh, when we close a mucosal defect, we will start from the distal end, distal end of the mucosal defect. And then uh, like this. So first, first creep is to make a good approximation to slowly close. OK, fire. And then so. OK, sorry, OK, OK. So like this, so first creep is most important. Uh, like this, uh, we have a very good approximation of the both side of the mucosa. So first, uh, first creep should be very uh, uh, carefully placed. Inoue yeah. Sensei. Yeah. This mucosa looks uh, very soft and, and easy to close. How yeah. about when the mucosa is thick? and inflamed? Yeah, so in some patients, um, mucosa layer becomes uh, particularly achalasia, long-term uh, suffering achalasia patient. So uh, mus mucosa becomes very tight. So at that time, so, OK, close. At that time, we use a, a loop and a creep technique. So place a loop and make and the, uh, it's a keep it uh, the left side and right side, uh, two clips, and then close a uh, uh, loop. Uh, it makes a, a, a tight approximation of the both side of the uh, mucosa cutting edge. Good approximation. So right hand side, it's OK. We catch the enough mucosa. The other side. Left hand side also, we have to check it. So we've, uh, we have taken, uh, yes, certain amount of uh, mucosa, so I think it's OK. Well, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Inoue. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was a beautiful thank demonstration.